Hey guys, Big Red Burb here. Yes, you read the title right, I finally beat Hidden Wave. If you guys don't know, when the Fallen rework came out, they added back an old feature referred to as Hidden Wave. And I actually beat the old version of this, and I have some screenshots to prove it as well, you know, the Hidden Wave name tag. Uh, when Hidden Wave started to be uh, theorized to be added back on the Fallen rework, uh, me and my friends initially tried looking for it. And the most we found was this uh, symbol behind the Below Natural statue, and we found it after everybody else did. We ended up eventually discovering how to trigger it through other people discovering it. We tried working on beating it, but there were some issues, because we only ever got one trigger, where 50% of our team just could not play the game. There was a bug with mobile where uh, the screen would kind of look like this. And after that, like, miserable fail, uh, morale was low and we didn't try Hidden Wave again for a long while. Yesterday, though, I asked if people had tried time to try again, and this, pretty much the same group was down. But, you know, first we were doing some fall mission quests, but after that, we got to work on Hidden Wave and little did we know, we were about to win on our first run of the day. We did. Okay, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Yippee! Whoa, let's go! Oh GG's. The team we had together w was me, two fellow content creators being Derpy and Xenoversify, and our friend Lemlion. This is basically the main people active in Derpy's Discord, especially when it comes to playing together. Here's all of our loadouts. You can see that we all have Ranger. This is because not only are there a lot of stuns in Hidden Wave, so having a stun immune tower helps a lot, but we were actually playing on a really long map being Fungi Island, so Ranger would get full use out of its massive range. Basically the idea was is that we would farm until wave 4, or we would defend in the Kevies so that Derpy could weaken them to get us down to 1 HP. The reason we wanted to get down to 1 HP is because that's one of the three requirements for Hidden Wave. The three requirements for Hidden Wave being, uh, you have to say a code in separate messages in chat being 120, 1, and 1009. This is a reference to Old Hidden Wave, with uh, 120 being a reference to the timer that ends at 120, the wave display showing 1, and the requirement to trigger it being being Fallen Mode in 1009 seconds. Next you have to be on 1 HP, which is in my opinion the hardest part, aside from, you know, the Hidden Wave itself. Then you have to kill Fallen King in under 45 seconds. And that's all. So from around wave 7 to wave 39, all we're doing is playing Fallen Mode. Granted, we have a lot more pressure because one leak means we're dead and we have to restart, but... Considering how much farming we're able to get, that's not an issue. So without further ado, let's get into the run. To start off, you may notice this isn't my footage. My footage got corrupted because I had so little storage left, so shout out to Zeno for allowing me to use his footage for this. He live streamed our hit, Hidden Wave run, so if you want to see the full run, you can go see it over on his channel, which will be linked in the description as well as Derpy's channel. We start off, and we're all farming and using supply drops to get extra money. Once Wave 4 rolls around, I get my pyro, and uh, nobody else places anything else. Basically, what happened is that me and Derpy thought that Xeno brought NG like he did on our previous runs, but he didn't. He had Brawler, and he didn't place it. Bot to activate it. Guys, yeah. you guys didn't get good defenses. So wave 4, we had massive leaks that would have killed us. And Derpy couldn't really defend them well with the scouts. So I panicked and placed a barricade. This was definitely not the right play. Process it. Wait, I can't. Barricade, barricade, barricade. I'm no! Burb! Barricade's the worst! Oh, That's actually going to last for a long time. After this, we decided that the best move would be to leak the fallen squire bots on wave 7. Oh, okay, no, now we weaken the squire. The backup plans weaken the squire. So we went for trying to do that. This end did end up working out. Uh, you might be wondering why the barricade didn't do any damage to the fallen squire, but that's just because barricade, if the enemy has more HP than the barricade, doesn't do anything to the enemy. Thankfully, Derpy was easily able to get the, get the fallen squire down to 28 HP for us to tank. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we have to... Okay. okay. There we go, Chad. And now... Now, after that, it was basically just having to get to the Fallen King. 
So we're just kind of doing whatever. I wanted to finish my farming as soon as possible, so all I did was upgrade Pyro for a little while, though towards the end of my farming I decided to get a level 3 DJ just to help out everyone defending. And if you know me at all, you might be wondering why I'm running DJ and not Commander, as in pretty much all of the multiplayer rounds I play, I always run Commander. But the issue was is that we weren't sure if I was going to have like massive lag issues, which I did end up having massive lag issues, so if that did happen, I wouldn't have been able to chain. So I decided to have run I decided to run DJ and Derpy was running Commander for me. And not running Commander messed up with my head a bit because when you run Commander for so long and then do a run without it, you kind of have the instinct to, you know, do stuff like Commander player does. I was about to say why why is the DJ back yet and then I remembered. <laughs> yeah, you have DJ. I forgot it. Anyways, with our crazy good defenses that we had set up, we were mani managing to kill bosses at <laughs> record speeds. Very little amount. Oh my god! Did you see that? What? How fast did Bro die? I have two max accelerators, so that might be part of the cause. And because this was basically just fall mode, we were just kind of like talking about things while just kind of spamming down our GPS towers. Oh, I forgot it first. I said B-Grad, and I forgot the verb. <laughs> <laughs> 7.5k is crazy. Uh, no, Grappy's it's so the close. Fallen King in uh, uh, Get Go. After this point, we would pretty much all finished farming, so it was really just a game of seeing how many DPS towers we could get down before the final wave. And pretty much all of the other bosses also kind of got shredded. That's the hardest thing in the wild. Dang! Whoa, bro got cooked! At this point, I came up with the idea to use Ranger's range buff as well as the range flag to get be able to get more Ranger spots within DJ range. That yeah. might be too many. No. We might no. We might have to have to like move the DJ to be like right here, so it can see more clip spots. No, no, no. Get a get a Ranger right here. Get the range boost. Oh yeah, here. Let me do that. Use our range flag. Get the, get the range boost. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Smart. Yeah. Which was definitely necessary considering we had 32 cliff towers total with uh, 28 rangers and 4 mortars. While we were doing this, Fa F Fallen Honor Guard suffered a horrible fate in the background. Not even the most rangers we can have, too. Rangers are the main DPS, basically. We need. Okay, Turret. we do keep some rangers on first, though. We have some rangers on first. Hold motion. Uh, and this will get rangers. Go get rangers. What did you okay. use range fight for? Over here, get rangers. Yes. Despite how much farming we did, we couldn't get all of our DPS towers down before the final wave. But that's okay because you get a total two million dollars in hidden wave. You may also notice a random scout in the middle of our defenses. This was because Derpy was saving a spot for uh, Xenoversify's medic because he was gonna have to constantly be selling or replacing the medic in the same spot, so we needed a good spot for it. And also, if we placed a medic before the final wave, it would heal us back above 1 HP, and therefore, hidden wave would not trigger. So medic was only for wave 40 onwards. On wave 39, Derpy placed all three of the flags he had brought, because if you use consumables on wave 40, hidden wave is disabled, but flags can last into wave 40 and all is fine. So we skip as soon as all of the flags are down, and we get a really good Fallen King kill here. None. Not a, not a single one. Nada. No matter what. Remember when Seer used one? Bro. Yeah. yeah. Such good pace. I only, oh, shoot. it only- I need this. to be chaining. Oh, so can you sell this scout for so I can place medic? Oh yeah. Place it in like, no decent, like, okay. That, this is decently. Yeah, it's just hard to... Oh my gosh! Dude, I oh, that is actual demolition! Th that has to be the fastest I've killed the Fallen King, point blank! I can't chain! That is so fast! As we see the animation, we knew we're set for Hidden Wave. So now, 
we have to deal with Wave 41. They have a lot of enemies for us to deal with here. Several Fallen Honor Guards, bloated Fallen Guardians, and a lot of spam. This also gives us some time to use what money we have to set up some towers before a hidden wave actually starts. Once that timer hits zero, we knew we were prepared for the fight of our lives. They buffed wave 41. Uh oh. My heart is great. Same. I have to keep chaining. Oh, keep I'm flying. You have to move it. Here. I am like locking into chain, keep chaining. These are just breakers. <laughs> But how skillful you think you are actually. Brawler Gaming! What is happening? What's happening? You're Here we get hit by a fake disconnect screen before immediately being thrown into Hidden Wave. Leave? Are you still chaining? You almost. <laughs> One million! Keep! Medic! 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 And I noticed I can actually play the game unlike the last time, which is nice. Awaken Fallen King spawns where Fallen King had quote-unquote died. And he has a whopping 1 million HP. He's backed by several Fallen Honor Guards, Fallen Guardians, Fallen Angels, Fallen Tanks. and But we were ready for this. We were not going back on a loss. Xeno changed his medics as, qu as quickly as possible, and Derpy made sure to always have Koa buff active. Me and one line were just rushing to try and get the rest of our towers down to do as much damage as possible. So many enemies, though. I can't, I can't, Commander. Oh, come on, we've done so much damage, though. Awakened Fallen King was constantly stunning all of our units. Eventually, he hit, it, he hit his second phase. He gained, he gained speed and was generally more aggressive. And we were panicking. He has a rage mode? I thought he always had a rage mode. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the summons skirt, that's insane. Move the DJ, not yet, but like soon. I'm rotating. We have so many rangers, this might be it. Did I get with the Rotate, rotate, rotate. I think this is it. Don't speak too soon. Around here is where my footage, you know, actually is. Chat, we, we cooked so hard. We did it. We did it. Or did we? Uh oh. We, we did. Okay, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Yippee! Let's go! Oh GG's. <laughs> and we were cheering in celebration. We got, honestly, pretty mid rewards, but hey, we got a cool badge, so it's worth it. We returned to lobby to celebrate a bit more, and all of us, pretty much all of us, went to bed. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you check out Derpy and Xenoversify's uh, channel. Their content is really good, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, be good, burb out.